happy Sunday everyone. So we're out here at the farm. Uh, well, what we call the farm. Our friend Chad over at uh, Silver Maple Gardens let us borrow some of his land this year to grow on. And I'm gonna take you around and show you what we've got going on. So we should probably rip the band-aid right off this <laughs> uh, video to begin with. We had some casualties. As you can see, this is our spaghetti squash. We had uh, squash bugs move in and make themselves a nice home in our squash plants. So it's been rough. As you can see, there will be no spaghetti squash this year. This row is our uh, butternut squash. Doing a little better, uh, still not great. This side here was our acorn squash. Lots of death in these first three rows. It's pretty sad. We learned a lot of hard lessons this year, but we'll get it we'll get it right next year, right? <laughs> This row here is uh, cucumbers. They held up a little better. You got one right here. <clears throat> and then on the other side of me, we have melons. The melons are doing okay. Not thriving, uh, but alive. We have pumpkins on this side. Again, got hit by the squash bugs pretty hard. Little baby pumpkin. And an Emma. We've got beans, and of course peppers. And a Mavis. And tomatoes have pretty much taken over this corner of the garden, which I'm okay with. Uh, tomatoes can get messy. I don't mind. Oh yeah. Here's a look at the farm. We call it the farm. It's been a lot to divide our time between the two uh, spots, but Greg's got irrigation in and he's been coming out here, I guess, two or three, sometimes four times a week, busting butt to make this work. So it's disappointing to lose a bunch of plants to the 
squash bugs, but it's not a total loss. We'll get some good stuff out of it this year, so. This is a stirrup hoe, or, or called an oscillating hoe. This is like the emergency weeder, which we are definitely, obviously, in emergency mode out here for weed control. But a lot of what this thing does is it's for like heavy weeding, so it almost operates as like a, uh, uh, a sod remover. So, you know, you get under here, you rip out the root, and the idea would be that that root doesn't have time. You know, it's been ripped out of the ground. Now it's going to dry out and die. They do, um, they do spread and retransplant themselves, and that's something that happens. Um, the idea behind weed management and stuff is to not let things go like this, and that you want to go through, and you just want to take this thing or. Really, once you get it under control, you use like a wire weeder, which is smaller and easier to get in and out of plants and stuff. But you just want to agitate your rows and hit every inch of wherever you're growing. And that'll keep the, the weeds from turning into what we have here. So I don't know if this is the best plan right now, but obviously we have to do something. We did just take a weed whacker to this and that's probably also not good because it, it probably threw the rhizomes and the seeds and stuff um, all over the place yet again but um, it, we had to take it down to where it was that we could move it and right now I'm gonna go through I'm gonna do what I've done over here and just kind of go all the way around here and rip out all of these weeds um, you don't really want to rototill it rototilling is gonna you know grind up the rhizomes and it's going to throw all those seeds everywhere so and you know maybe maybe tilling works for some people and in some applications and stuff but for us trying to do um you know no dig growing um, that's just not something that we want to do so unfortunately um with the tools we have this is what we have going on but what we could do if we do get all these weeds taken out is that we could put down um like a professional grade plastic and um, that could hopefully prevent all of this from coming back and create a border to protect what we're growing with um, the, the other side of the fence, you know, where there's some weeds and stuff going on. And then we can, you know, have a, a little bit less of an area to try to agitate as, as we go through and we try to maintain these beds. What do you think of the farm? Em, over here. Hey. What do you think of the farm? Hmm? Do you want to be a farm dog? What do you think? What about Maeve? What does the Maeve think? Hmm? What do you guys think about being a farm dog? Huh? Well, you look like a grungy farm dog. You look very happy. <laughs> Are you happy? Are you happy to have all this space and yet you're still up my butt? Hmm? Both of you? Hmm? What do you think? You look like a natural here, Emma. Yeah. I think it's Emma and Mavis approved. Huh. We gotta find you guys a farm. What do you say? Do you want to sign off? Huh? Do you want to say over and out? All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.
recording. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you are way too close to me. <laughs>